welcome back guys to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we'll be creating this view in front of you where we're going to be using storyboards to create custom buttons with a corona radius, a photo, custom spacing, and also some nice interaction as you can see. If this is something that you would like to see, please make sure you leave a like first and subscribe and then watch the video. Let's get started. Welcome back guys. So the first thing we're gonna need to do now is head to Xcode and I'm gonna click simply on Xcode to launch it. I'm going to create a new project by clicking on create a new project. And after that, we're going to basically decide on the name and where we're gonna save it. So I'm going to basically select iOS app. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to make sure that I'm using storyboard, not Swift UI storyboard this time. For the product name, I'm simply gonna say something like custom buttons and then I'm going to click on next after that's going to ask me where exactly I would like to save it and I would simply just like to save it on uh, on a file here that I created called temp so that's where I'm going to save it I'll click on create and that's basically you can already see it got created and that's where it's going to be right now now after that basically as soon as it, as your project loads what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to expand my view and we can head to main.storyboard to start editing our board. Okay, so as soon as our view here loads, what we're going to be doing is we're simply just going to click on this plus sign at the top. And the first thing I'm going to be adding is the label. So I'm just going to click on the label and put it until the two corners meet just like this. I'm going to expand this basically like after half of the screen because we're going to be making this a heading. And I'm going to call it work out something like this or maybe we can actually remove the cap to o at the end for the color what we can click on it i'm gonna go click on custom and we're gonna have this over here and then we can actually customize it so i want it to be something like this maybe a little bit darker and maybe something like this okay perfect i'm going to end this i'm going to click on the font and I'm going to make sure that it's bold, just so that it stands out as actually a heading and people don't confuse it with something else. So I'm going to wait for it to load. I'm going to click on regular and then I'm going to click on bold. And as soon as we click done, you can see that it's ready. Obviously 17 is really low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it until I feel like it's a good length, something like this. And we want to add some information after. So I'm going to click, click on this plus button. I'm going to type uh, to scroll down until I can have something like a text view, just like this. I'm going to drag that in, just like that, until again, both of them meet. And maybe we can expand this to the end. Now I'm going to be doing adjustments to the text view, but before that, I just put the text that we want so that we can actually see the text being adjusted. And I'm going to basically type in what exercise would you like to work on today and i'm going to put a question mark now as you can see there it is i want it to be so that the first line is filled up and then we have like two lines basically so what i'm going to do first is i'm actually going to increase the font and i'm going to keep increasing it until we have something like uh, like this that that to me looks good and i'm going to bold this out like that beautiful now the second thing that i want to do is i want to change the background so i want I'm, and i want to make it like kind of like brushed white or something like that so i'm going to click on the background uh, or on the view sorry over there and i'm going to go to background i'm going to click on it and i'm going to change this to something else so we can click on custom and first of all let's just see what we can do from here so this actually kind of looks or kind of is what i'm after just a little bit greater, just like this. Beautiful. And I'm going to basically click on that. But as you can see, now we have this white and that's the only thing showing. So to remove the background of the text view itself, what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the text view and we're gonna scroll down until we can see background. And I'm just going to click on default. And now it doesn't really have a background. And I just realized that this is probably a little bit too dark. So let's go again over here, click on custom, click on custom again. And maybe we can just, oops, we can probably make it go a little bit like this, maybe. And really bright it out. And maybe just push it a little bit like this. 
Perfect, that's exactly what I'm after. There we go, perfect. So now what do we need to add? We need to add our uh, search field. So I'm going to click on plus here. I'm going to type in search, search bar, sorry. And I'm going to drag it into the screen just like this. I'm going to stack it right underneath the text field. And obviously I don't want that like white border. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to search style. Uh, sorry, search style of here, and I'm going to click on remove. And now it's basically like removed. So obviously we want some placeholder text. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to search. Uh, to sorry, to placeholder, and I'm going to type in search workout, and then I'm going to put three dots, just like this. Beautiful. Now the only thing left for us to do is actually add the four buttons. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to drag a very normal button over here. There we go. And before I do anything, this is probably the stage where I need to add my assets. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to assets and I'm going to attach all the assets inside of the GitHub folder for this project so you'll be able to actually see it and everything and download it and use it. And I'm going to minimize this and let's go to the project here called temp or the folder, sorry. And I'm going to drag all four, fold of all four images and drag them into my assets folder. Now there's just one thing that we need to do for all of them. I'm going to click on group one and I'm going to say single scale. Same thing for all different um, images. There we go, single scale. And finally the last one. There we go. Now let's go to main.storyboard. Let's uh, increase the size. And we're gonna go over here and Straight away, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to add the image. So I'm going to click on the button. I'm going to navigate to image. And I'm going to change this to the running one, which I think was group one. There we go. We've got it. Now, something that always happens for some reason uh, is that as soon as you add an image, the color of the button changes to white. So you will definitely be able to see it, but unless it's a white background. So what you're going to do is you're then going to go to text color. And I want the colors to be exactly the same color. So maybe we can select this one there we go and I mean, you know what maybe for the button this might be a little bit better actually there we go that is definitely much better now instead of uh, saying button I obviously want it to say running instead like this I also want the font to be 25 so I'm gonna keep increasing until it's 25 I want it to also be bold so I'm going to click on this T and once the pop-up appears I'm going to select bold Like here, bold, done, boom. So now I can actually drag this. I'm going to drag it until it's at the edge of the screen or over here somewhere. And let's go ahead and actually make it longer. Something like this. I, I feel like this is, um, this is comfortable for the eye basically. There we go. Now I obviously wanna add some different background to the button so that people can actually distinguish between it. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to background. And I'm actually going to select, uh, maybe we can start off with this one. Uh, and then we can click on custom. Uh, we can make it a little bit more pinkish. Something like, like this. That looks nice. And we're going to close it. Now, I'm going to duplicate this four times. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on command and then D. So it duplicates. And I'm simply just going to place it underneath. There we go, just like this. And another two times. There we go. Beautiful. And another last time. There we go. Perfect. So now we've got four. Beautiful. Now this part of the part that you've been waiting for is how do you do like a corner radius and a shadow and things like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this and I'm going to expand my view just like that. And then I'm going to click on this sort of like line at the bottom. Uh, so at the top and I'm going to click on assistant. And I'm going to wait a few seconds and now we've got this file over here. And this file actually allows us to do much more complicated UI work. But I just realized that before that we still have running for all of them. So let's go ahead and change this. I'm going to open this again. I'm going to select this one. Instead of running, let's have uh, push-ups. And we're going to change the photo to uh, push-ups. So I think that was one that has push-ups. Uh, for this one, instead of running, let's say something like crunches. Uh, and the photo, it will be the photo for the crunches. 
So I'm going to go over here and I wish I can see it. That's not crunches. This looks like crunches. <laughs> and finally the last one. This is going to be pull-ups. And I couldn't actually find a photo of a girl do or a guy doing pull-ups. So this is the closest thing that I found. Now, in my opinion, it would be good to make everything aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one because this one's not aligned. I'm going to go over here. And this is just the easiest way to do it. I'm simply just going to keep adding spaces until I feel like the letters are aligned and they are. This one's pretty aligned. Maybe you can add like a space at the very back, just like this. And this one definitely needs a lot of work. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add like a few spaces, much more. Come on. And that looks pretty good now. There we go. Now let's actually start connecting some filters so that we can actually further customize it. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to click on control. Actually, I'm going to hold control and I'm going to, with my mouse, I'm going to click on it and then drag over here. And I'm going to say running button outlet and click on connect. Same thing for all different ones. I'm going to come over here and say push ups, push ups, outlet. And I'm going to click on connect. You just set crunches, set the same thing. Crunches, button outlet. Finally pull ups. I'm going to go here. I'm going to say pull ups. Pull ups. Outlet. Beautiful. Now that we've got this, what we are going to do is we're actually going to increase this one. We're going to remove that. And now basically what I want at this stage is to add a corner radius so that it's a little bit curved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type in pull ups. Oops, sorry, pull ups to outlet. And then I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to put layer. I'm going to put another dot. Corner radius equal to seven. And then same thing again. We're going to say uh, for the other for the other three. So I'm going to say crunches dot layer dot corner radius equals seven. Same thing for the last two. So push ups dot layer dot corner radius equals to seven. And finally the running one. So running button dot outlet dot layer dot corner radius so we've actually and corner radius is equal to seven so now that we've actually set this up you still won't see a difference over here but you will be able to see a difference once you run this app and that's exactly what i'm gonna do as always i'm gonna run the app on my iphone so you can see it live and then we're gonna be able to see if we, whether or not we actually work with the customization so basically i'm on my phone now i'm going to basically run the app and let me just show you my phone so you can see it once this loads and basically what will happen is that once the app loads up this is how it loads up oh sorry this is how it loads up and as you can see we've got some issues that the corners or sorry the buttons are not actually set right like you can see they're almost outside of the screen and that's because we didn't set up constraints for this view so constraints allow us to keep everything in line so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back to xcode i'm going to click on our view over here all i'm gonna do is i'm going to click on this space shipping looking thing I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on add missing constraints. I'm going to click on it and run the project again. And you will see that this time, once it loads up, let me just get it up. Once it loads up, everything is going to be in the exact correct place because we've added constraints. So constraints allow everything to be exactly where you'd expect it on any device. Let's have a look. There we go. As you can see, now we have this app, it's on our phone. We've created our custom buttons, we've created a custom view. And if you click on them, you can see that they have different interactions. Things kind of like blur up and be darkened and that's automatic. There you go. That's basically the custom buttons for today and today's episode. I hope you did enjoy it and please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. Have a good day.